this video, I'm going to be unboxing and testing a set of watercolour paints from Art Philosophy. I've been seeing a lot of these watercolours being used on Instagram at the moment, so I wanted to give them a try. I just want to add a little caveat before getting into the video that I'm not a professional painter, I'm just an amateur with a limited skill set, so if you're a pro, this video might not be that informative. Also, this video is not sponsored or endorsed by Art Philosophy. So this is from the watercolour confections range. There are loads of different ones to choose from, and I've gone for the vintage pastels set. It comes in cardboard packaging with a nice example of some artwork on the front. I like the overall design and the fonts used. It definitely fits with the modern aesthetic people really like at the moment. I paid £25 for this set, which is about $30. US uh, I don't think that's a bad price. Um, it looks on par with other similar products. Um, so looking online, I found Arteza £12 set was around £15.99. Windsor and Newton was around £30. Derwent about £25. So my first impression when it was delivered was that I was surprised by how small the package was. For some reason I was expecting it to be larger, but having a more compact set is better for storage, so I'm quite pleased with that. For some reason it took me a good 15 seconds to get into this box. So again, the tin is really nice and compact, there's not much to say about it, it's quite plain with just a sticker showing which set it is on the front. It does have this metal loop on the back, which I'm not completely sure what it's for, but I made the assumption that you can put a finger through it to help you hold it if you're painting when out and about or travelling, but if that's completely wrong then please let me know in the comments. When opened, the lid becomes a mixing palette, and there's an additional palette that flips out on the other side. It's a fairly standard configuration for watercolour palettes, but it works well, so no need to reinvent the wheel. You get this swatch card as well, which I think is a nice addition. It's not something that you get with all brands, and you often need to make your own one. You can also download a blank swatch card from the Art Philosophy website if you need another one for any reason. I'll leave a link in the description below. I would say the colours printed on the wrappers don't really reflect how the paints look on paper. On the wrappers they seem a bit dull, but on paper they're much brighter and more intense. Again, the packaging inside is aesthetically pleasing, but I'm a bit disappointed that each pan is wrapped in a plastic film. I appreciate that they are susceptible to moisture, so it might be necessary to protect them from things like condensation when in transit, but it would be great if Art Philosophy could look into some alternatives. This information is taken from the Art Philosophy website and shows the colours from this palette. There's a bit of a typo on 118, dark row should be dark rose. This chart gives their light fastness rating. Some of them have 3 stars which is excellent, but Breezy and Terracotta have 2 stars which is good, and Periwinkle only has 1 star which is poor. So if you're planning on displaying or selling your artwork, this might be something to keep in mind. So I chose this palette because A, I really love the colours, and B, I really struggle with colour mixing. I have done some colour theory when I was in college, and I get the basics in principle, but in practice I find it really hard. I also find it quite discouraging when I spend ages mixing, but never quite get what I want. I do feel that colours can really make or break a piece of artwork, especially if you're like me. I'm not a particularly skilled painter, but if I get some great colours, it can sometimes lift a piece from looking average to looking good. I think this set will make my life a bit easier as I can just take a lot of the colour straight from the palette. I really love all the colours in this set but I think my favourite has to be the dark rose with the dusky mauve coming a close second. The pigmentation is fairly strong, so if you add a small amount of water, the colours are quite intense and have good opacity, and as you'd expect, adding lots of water easily makes them more transparent. Mm -hmm. 
So I wanted to see how the paints reacted when putting them on wet paper and as you can see the pigment spreads out really nicely. I was taking the paint straight from the pans rather than mixing it with the water in the palette and noticed that the sort of gritty texture of the paint was transferring onto the paper. I had a look on the website and found the MSDS, which is the Material Safety and Data Sheet. This lists the ingredients and I saw calcium carbonate there. Uh, I'm not a scientist, but I would presume that's what is giving it this gritty texture. So if you're not being lazy, like me, and mixing the paint with water in the palette, then it completely dissolves and you get a smooth wash of colour. But if you want to add an interesting texture to your work, you could try taking it straight from the pan. Now, I know I said I wouldn't be mixing the colours, but I wanted to test out the capabilities, seeing as they are non-standard colours. And they do mix really easily, and I'm pleased with the soft muted colours I was able to achieve here. I would really recommend checking out the Art Philosophy website. They have a very interesting blog that showcases people's artwork and gives some tutorials. There's also a free download section, which I mentioned before, where you can get the blank swatch cards. But there's quite a lot of colouring sheets in there with really cool designs that you can download and print off as well. Overall, I'm really pleased with this purchase. I bought the set because I wanted an interesting colour palette that would enable me to create artwork without spending ages mixing colours, and that's exactly what I've got. The compact size was an unexpected plus for me, and I think the only real negative I had was the plastic wrapping. In my limited experience, I think they are very good quality paints, and they're reasonably riced. The rest of this video is a simple speed paint, just to show what kind of results you can get from the set. I hope you enjoyed this video or got some use from it. If you have any experience using this product, please feel free to share your opinions in the comments. And thanks very much for watching. Bye!